In this theory, the parallel universes of string theory are just future possibilities and opportunities within our one three-dimensional universe of continuous energy exchange with a future unfolding photon by photon relative to the atoms of the periodic table. In this theory called quantum atom theory we have just one three-dimensional universe that is a continuum with a future that is always uncertain. The mathematics of string theory and U. Everett's many worlds interpretation represent the dynamic symmetry of this process. In the mathematics of U. Everett's many worlds interpretation each parallel universe is at right angles to each other. In this theory this represents electric and magnetic fields always being at right angles to each other with the future unfolding photon by photon. Also the symmetry that we have in the mathematics of string theory that they interpreted as a string represents a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking in this theory. There is no logical reason why a string should form greater organization or greater disorganization as in the entropy we have in the second law of thermodynamics. But a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking relative to the atoms of the periodic table can form ever greater entropy with the possibility of ever greater symmetry formation as we see in cell life. The driving force for this process is the spontaneous absorption and emission of light photon energy. The universe is a continuum with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the atoms of the periodic table. We comprehend and measure this process as a period of time. We have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere representing an infinite number of possible timelines as the future unfolds with each new photon oscillation. The momentum of the light will always be at right angles to the surface of the sphere and it is because of this dynamic geometry that electromagnetic fields are always at right angles to each other. The two-dimensional surface of the sphere forms a dynamic boundary condition with the inner concave surface and the outer convex surface giving us a geometrical reason why charge comes in two types, the positive and negative. This theory can also explain quantum entanglement. The polarization or spin will be the same for the whole surface of the light sphere at the same moment in time, therefore spontaneously having opposite spin on opposite sides of the light sphere. This dynamic geometry fits in with the nature of charge that can be spread over a finite volume whose absolute size can be as large as a region of interstellar space that can be seen to move faster than light forming quantum entanglement. This symmetry can even be seen on the International Space Station. In near zero gravity a candle flame forms a sphere that interacts with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. This process is universal because the universe is never at absolute zero therefore everything is radiating light photon energy. We experience this process with photon energy from the Sun cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization, forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. The same process forms a possibility for ever greater organization that we see with photosynthesis, with the future unfolding relative to each tree, flower and even with each individual blade of grass. Because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent we have a process where everything forms its own reference frame relative to its energy and momentum or actions. Therefore we are experiencing a process of continuous creation, a developing reality which is centered upon itself at each place of existence. This is a totally interactive process with the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. We have an emergent future 
unfolding relative to our own actions. This geometrical process can be expressed mathematically with the spontaneous absorption and emission of light represented by the probability function or quantum wave particle function. In this theory, the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process, with the Planck constant being a constant of action at the smallest scale of this geometrical process. We see and fill this process as the passage of time, with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle representing a potential sphere of future uncertainty. We observe this sphere as the visible three-dimensional universe, as the stars above us and the objects around us, and can choose what to observe and what objects to interact with. This is only logical if gravity is part of this universal process, with the outward momentum of light forming the inward force of gravity. This might sound far-fetched, but it can be seen mathematically with both the gravitational force and the electromagnetic force sharing the inverse square law, representing the dynamic geometry of this one universal process. In this theory, we have one three-dimensional universe of continuous creation, with a future unfolding relative to the eye and hand of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.